All right, guys, so fishing on the elites. You know, we get caught up in everything new. Um, seems like anytime something comes over from Japan, we all jump on it, um, you know, a new technique, whether it be the free rig or, you know, anything like that. But sometimes there are baits that are forgotten about, techniques that are forgotten about that, that still catch them really good. Um, and mine is, is a Carolina rig. Uh, you know, back in the early days, everyone, was winning tournaments on a Carolina rig. Um, you know, that was the, the deal to throw. And this is bait that's, you know, a lot of times thought about for largemouth, but this is probably one of the best smallmouth, you know, rigs that there is, whether it's in grass, on rock, um, really anywhere that, that you have the smallmouth. It's sometimes it's a lot better if, if you're not live scoping them, you know, pitching a drop shot, got a Damiki rig, stuff like that. If you're just throwing the old ball and chain out there and dragging it through you know a lot of fish still bite it um so my my setup on on a carolina rig is you know, i've got a, a seven six rod so a pretty long rod so you can throw it out there got 20 pound mainline sunline shooter and then i've got a three quarter ounce um tungsten weight i got the two beads the two beads are key it makes that clacking sound like a crawfish um to a swivel and then i've got 14 pound um, sniper on my, my leader to a four aught uh, hybrid worm hook Jeep nest with a quarantine craw. Um, you know, this is like the jack of all trades type bait, you know, great um, crawfish imitator. And man, you can throw this thing on points, throw it on flats, you can throw it on the St. Lawrence River, dragging it down the current. Uh, you know, the, the, it's endless on on what you can do with this and a, a lot of times people overlook putting a, a fluke style bait on a on a carolina rig you know you're catching them every cast on a crankbait for 30 minutes and then they quit biting it well they're not done you know you throw a fluke or something on a on a carolina rig flop her out there and it was just the way that the the bait works a carolina rig works is you know you're pulling it and it's just kind of gliding and you know it's nothing crazy you're not hopping it you know cracking it or anything like that it's just a very natural presentation that that gets bit so don't overthink things just because it's old doesn't mean it doesn't work anymore